Man, the, man, the um, PC version of Arkham Knight, they say the frame rate is broken. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. Since this time they built it on the PS4, and, you know, the PS4's got that limited bundle, and, I mean, it seems like the game is optimized for that for that platform. It just brings to mind what happened a couple years ago, and I'm talking about, like, 2006, 2007, when... Well, that's, like, 10 years ago, but, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like, a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, last decade. Let me rephrase that. Last decade, when... I need to track that military PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 were going head to head in their their first generational games that were coming out and the ones that were ported to the PS3 like I remember I remember seeing um what BioShock that? yeah BioShock no 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 was predominantly for me was um um man Splinter Cell when oh, Splinter Cell came yeah, out was it was it Blacklist or, or... Double Agent? Double Agent, Double Agent. Yeah. That was the first one. <clears throat> when um, Double Agent came out, and it was ported from 360 to... Well, it actually came out for both simultaneously. Right, but what we did not realize yeah. is, that it, is that developers don't de only develop for one console. They develop for one platform, and they'll port to the rest. Right. The laziness of development today... And, and has caused this it's it's that and the behind the scenes so that we don't know because like in this arkham knight situation yeah contrary to, to popular belief and popular misconception and lack of real information richard review tech if usa who you ain't no you ain't no industry insider you ain't no journalist no game journalist you're just a fan who watches YouTube videos and reads articles on real gaming sites like everybody else. Yeah. So that's why he gets his crap wrong. Who gets he's it saying, wrong. He's saying, oh, that Rocksteady, you know, is going to work on the game, and they said they take this very seriously. No, they didn't. No. Rocksteady hasn't said a bloody thing because Rocksteady didn't make the PC version. Yeah. Rocksteady made the PS4 version, and they ported it to Xbox One. The PC version of it was handled... Uh, by WB Studios, who had a separate studio port the PS4 code to PC. Yeah. So when you go on the forums and you see that WB is the one answering and is not Rocksteady, that's because Rocksteady didn't make the PC version. Right. And, and this is what happened with the P with the PS3 and 360 stuff too. Exactly. Because clearly the original developers work on one version. And that mess gets ported, sometimes not even by them, to the next console. Yeah. Well, the thing about the, the, the PS3 era is that, I mean, so much crap was heaved on Sony when, uh, like, you know, TV shows. Could you imagine back in the day there were TV shows that reviewed games? X-Play was one of them. Yeah. And, man, I remember it was just, it was that, it was a Saturday night. I was at home. Man, I was feeling good, man. I was just like, I feel good. You know, I, I traded at that point. I had traded in. Um, no, I didn't trade. Actually, yeah. Well, I, I traded with a friend. Um, he had a, he had a PS4, a brand new PS4 that he just bought. PS3. Um, yeah, yeah, PS3. Yeah, right. You it would have been amazing if you had a brand new PS4 back yeah. in like 19, 2006. Like, you went to the future. Tell me what, what, what happens. No, um, Red, her, her Reggie got the statues in the future. <laughs> That's what happens. For real. We just alienated like 90% of everybody listening. Then, yeah, um, nobody knows time in an Nobody. No, nobody. It's, an un, it's like an unforeseen audio drama. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he, he had a PS3 that he just bought, and it was the one of the first generation models. And um, I remember... I traded my 360 and my 360 HD DVD format, which, which by the way, was a failed format that Microsoft invested in. For real. And um, a, a, a stack of movies, Transformers, um, Mission Impossible Collection, and a, a whole bunch of other movies. Like It was like the Die Hard Collection and all this stuff. Gave that all to him, and he just gave me the PS4, and I was happy with that. And the PS4 Three. came with... 
three. Yeah, damn. <laughs> keep doing that. It's it, it shows you how much I want to be a four. You're you're in the future already. I know. Again, I'm back to the future. Damn. No, but um, a trademark. PS3, for real. And the PS3 had uh, Talladega Nights. Remember, it was bundled with that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The first Came generation ones. And I was like, oh man. That's all I need. And when I popped in that, man, that Blu-ray, it was just like, it blew me away. But anyway, the point of the story is I was feeling good. And I was watching X-Play that night. And I had the PS3 upstairs in, because my house was a two-story house. And it was upstairs in my room, connected. And I was just like, you know, just having a good time and feeling good. It's about like, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the next gen, for real. Yeah, I'm there. I don't have to worry about nothing. And then here comes Morgan Webb talking about how, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, PlayStation, but your version of Splinter Cell is not up to par. Oh, my God. I could have, like, gone through the TV and created, like, some type of spousal abuse, you know? <laughs> it was just it's like gone through the TV, carried her off to, like, uh, to like married, a, 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 married her and then and created then spousal abuse. abused her. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I would I would just do it for free? For real, you gotta get something Cause, out of that. Cause, cause we, cause we be, we be proper up in here. Proper. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, beat a woman gonna, until I'm uh, married to her. Exactly. So that, that's that's just how you gotta do it. You can't just beat on on random girls. Yeah, that's, random girls. That's, girl. that's, that's terrible. That's, that, no, no, that, that's real. Yeah, that's archaic. But, but yeah, but going back to games is like, man, I can't. I was like, I was so pissed, and now looking at this, I am so freaking happy. That everybody gets to feel this. Everybody on the other side of the spectrum is now it's like PC gamers that are being affected by this. Yeah. And the truth is coming out. And then only now is it is it is it relevant? And only now are people actually thinking about, oh yeah, the backside to the gaming industry, the side that we don't necessarily see. And punks like Rich Review Tech USA get their information wrong. For real. You know? And they, they start talking bullcrap. Doing like, like as you said. It, yeah, it like happened. Me. Yeah, do, he, he ain't no different than us. He's, he's just no different than us. He's got no listening to us. And he's like, oh yeah, well I've uh, I've been following Arkham Knight since it was announced. Watching interviews, it's like yeah, watching interviews because you ain't conducting no interviews because I you know. ain't nobody. Because nobody's gonna don't talk like oh I've been following Arkham Knight. Like you've been in contact with the developers, you know, I asking know. them questions about you know what platforms they're using, what AI tech they're using. Nothing. No, you ain't even doing nothing. You've been watching YouTube videos and reading IGN in your underwear. Look, the thing is. The truth of the matter is, is that anybody from WB Games or anybody from Rocksteady gets a call from Richard of U Tech USA, and they're like, "Hey, um, hey, go hey guys, I, I would like for you to come over to my house to to interview, or you know, maybe I could go to your studio and stuff." As soon as they sit next to his big, fat, slobbering, sweaty body, his <laughs> odor is gonna offend them to the point that they just don't want to talk about the game anymore, but rather try to talk about options so that he can clean his act up. And maybe, you know, recommend a body deodorant. They won't even answer a phone call from him. <laughs> I know, right? He probably doesn't even know that they're based in England. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't know he doesn't know anything about games. And don't let him fool you. If you listen to him, just don't let him fool you into thinking that he's someone credible. He's, he's, he's um, somebody just like you, me, or anybody else who has a camera and just got the right video in. And at got, the right time and got a following. Yeah, at the right time and got a following. Because around the time when um, um, when I heard about him, it was a controversy. And he had a video that had X amount of hits just because of this one controversy. And that's the only reason why I started like looking back at his old stuff. Yeah, but that's how that's how YouTube works in that's general how, anyway. Yeah. You gotta get it. You gotta get a controversy. You gotta ride the wave of some, you know, like social like yeah. phenomenon, and then you get a, you get a certain following, and then that's how you get it. And then you just make content after that, or they review your old content. Right. That's exactly how it happens. But this is this is the nature of the beast. This is what's going on. It's it's that companies make one version, and that's it. And then whoever happens to be 
the next platform for that to get ported to, you may or may not get a quality product. Yeah. At launch, at least. And like like you said, it's it's finally evening out now. PS3 had this a whole lot last gen, mm-hmm. and no one really cared. They made fun of PS3 for because of it. Yeah. But now, for the most part, PC is getting it worse this gen. Oh yeah. Because because consoles showed their power. Everyone's like, oh, consoles are dead. And then the PS4 has been selling like crazy since Xbox Three, Xbox One is still is selling decently too, and so these. Ubisoft with with the Assassin's Creeds and the Call of Duties and all of these things, they are very much focused on consoles. Mm-hmm. And that means that the PC versions of these things tend to be the worst versions. Yeah. I mean, CD Projekt Red with The Witcher is different, but that's because they're, they are mainly a PC gaming uh, dev. I think, I believe that, I could be wrong, but I'm not likely wrong on this one. I believe that The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is their first console game hmm. for three six for Xbox One and PS4. So they are used to dealing with PC. Yeah. How on the other side, the other devs ha- have not been focusing on PC and they're not focusing on PC, period, and it's someone else who ports their game to PC. And yeah. if what happens, I mean, let's let's take a just an analyze for another two minutes Arkham Knight before we get on to Reggie and the statues. Oh, but um, we know that Arkham Knight was announced and was supposed to be out around October, November of 2014. Mm-hmm. Then it was delayed till rumored to be January. Then it was confirmed to be in June. So that was what, like an eight month delay. Yeah. Then getting closer to June, it got delayed for an extra three weeks. Not sure why, but uh, yeah, so whatever. So you're looking at almost a nine-month delay from the original time. Hmm. There is no way that after all that delays that somehow the game should be as bad as it is on PC right now at launch. This is, we are recording this, I mean, it's late now, but it's technically, no, actually it's not. (laughs) It's still the 24th. Mm Mm-hmm. Of, of June 2015 this game released at retail on the 23rd yeah that's so it's literally been out to to the public um, a little bit less than 48 hours now yeah like literally like 47 hours and a half, 47 and a half hours yeah so I mean so the, uh, the 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 problems the technical problems that the PC uh, port is having could be fixed oh yeah well well here's the thing like probably people people on in the pc community found fixes to some of them of those things within hours yeah within like three hours it's like hey i'm having this credible and terrible problem with um motion blur and then three hours later okay right here everybody try this and this fixes it right not the devs just the regular pc players right which leads would leads any reasonable person to believe that how could they have possibly done any sort of extensive QA testing on this game for PC no none was probably conducted they just well, probably should you know. which which is funny uh, because i presume that i mean obviously steam and all these other online gaming stuff for for um PC will have their certain certification processes mm-hmm. meaning that you can't just release whatever you want so that thing should have passed through certification somewhere. It it probably it probably p- passed simply to just get people to buy it when guess, the fervor but, was hot. But it's funny. It's funny that within forty eight hours, WB is and which is they which is what they've announced. They are stopping the sales of the game on PC. Yeah. So it's like, well, what was the point? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they weren't completely aware of what that team um, did to get the game released just as long as it was released. And then they come in as, you know, a big father company saying, okay, this is, you know, we're not going to tarnish our names. I mean, okay. uh, And then again, think about this. I mean, WB is very young when it comes to video games as far as company as far as the company goes, I mean, they, they do a lot of animated entertainment. Um, they they hold the DC license. Um, they do movies, uh, shows. Only since 
you know, Batman was a big thing in video games has well, this come from the map. Well, no, no, that's 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 recently. That's recently. Yeah, yeah. because Midway. Uh, that's true. You're right. You're right. That was Midway before. Midway was the first Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so they must have bought it from them. Yeah, they um, did. Yes, they did. And then and then now it's uh, Nether Realm Studios. Nether is making it. Yeah. Is which is um, Ed Boon's uh, love child with um, WB. But it's like, okay, they're very young in the industry, and they they seldom have released a PC game or a PC port of a game that's come out so close to the original console release because they're just used to doing console. Like, maybe they didn't have the foresight enough to make sure that this game coming out on PC was going to be a perfect, um, not perfect, but a good enough um, grade in order to make retail sales, in order to be, I mean, to be sold at retail for PC. Right, uh, I, maybe I guess had, not. Yeah, they probably had the mentality that, okay, games are games and consoles consoles and PC must be the same, so, um, yeah, but, okay. It's, but the funny, the funny thing is, all the other Arkham games have released on PC. Yeah. Asylum, City, and even the well, well, have, have they less released, happy origins. Did they release day one with... Um, I, I, that I do not know. I just was not paying attention. Probably not because even it's... like games like GTA five, no, 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 it must've been, it must have, because I remember she was playing Arkham Asylum on PC. Same time I was playing it on PS3. Right. Or, so, I mean, it must've released within a week or, or, or I remember, no, wait a minute. I remember those games being out before the console. It's possible. Versions. It's possible. They it's were, possible. they I actually didn't... were because I remember, I remember pirating it. Oh, I said the P word. Oh my god! I remember pirating it before that, and then Shein had it way before that. So they these games were were PC, and then Xbox ported to Xbox and True. PS3. ported to PS3. Mm, that's probably what it was. Yeah. So, so very likely this is probably one of the first times that these things have been based fully on console, right? And then brought up to PC, and then very and that's what's going on because I mean clearly. They had a um, they had a, a very strong relationship with Sony this time, uh, with everything. So, but uh, on the side note, playing the game, the game is awesome on PS4, hmm. and that cannot be denied. No, no, no. I've seen I've seen your videos, and they don't and, compare. I mean, and to those seeing videos, it live. And those videos on YouTube look so disgusting. Yeah. Compared <laughs> to what? No, really. Like I watched it. I watched it really quick before we move on. I watched it really on um on YouTube on my PS4. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my god! I mean, like it looks so gray and washed out. Yeah. E even the even just the raw PS PS4 video capture, which is only in 720p, mm -hmm. looks better than the than the YouTube video. Hmm. And the YouTube video is uploaded to the highest quality I could upload it at. Well, yeah, YouTube is then, way behind the times when it comes to video. And I don't then, know, they're still and then like the actual gameplay is 1080p running on the system, looks way better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why YouTube's still around. It's like they must because be, they must be doing some deals with the devil because no, nah, it's it's advertising. They're making and because it's it's advertising and social media because yeah. everybody's on YouTube now. But YouTube the code, is the new Facebook. The code is so dated, though, man, and the and the, the well, they released a new API like a month ago, supposedly. Yeah, but it's still not. It's still not that. It's still not great. I mean, you're you are getting, on some videos, you are getting full 1080p and all this, but yeah, they 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 just added support for 60 frames per second on videos. But I'll tell you what. What also still isn't great. The Wii U. Oh yeah, and and I'll tell you a certain somebody who is pissed. And starts throwing flame out his mouth and out his out his behind at everybody, since they're not on the Wii U bandwagon. And that's our man, our, our misfit child Reggie Fizami. Dang. And his yep. little, his little, his little army of uh... army of Muppets. Oh God! It's like <laughs> which they well, seriously are. did he really Towards the think? English language word of a Muppet. For real, did he? A Muppet. Did he really think that Muppets were gonna make up for the lack of everything that the Wii U's missing, and then be, and then have the nerve to be angry when people are like, "Yo, this ain't cutting it." 
No, and he's there. And apparently, apparently, they're the only ones who could throw jabs this late in the generation. Uh, For real. As far as like, I'm talking about kids, the generation of kids, not the console generation, but this generation where everybody, everybody who's who's anybody online, is calling truce to the console wars and saying you can't talk bad about any console. Yeah, th- this is the funny. This is the funny thing, because this whole console war truth yeah. has come out more or less in 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 a in an attempt to protect Nintendo. Yeah. Because they are the ones who got the Microsoft. weakest console of all. Yeah. But yet it's the Nintendo executives yeah. who are throwing who are throwing the bombs. Yeah. So what he did was he called out the last he called out Sony and the last guardian, basically saying that we we as Nintendo are not a company that announces games and then, you know, doesn't actually release them until six or seven years later down the line. And how long did it take for Twilight Princess? For real? Oh my god, you I you forgot about that. And how about how about the Zelda Wii U? They announced it like two years ago. It's Ugh. ridiculous. Man, he, he it, doesn't know what he's talking about, man. He's no. he is part of the problem with he is. today. He is the big he's like that that dot on his head doesn't mean that he's from Asia. It means that he is part of the issue at hand. And that issue is there is there are a bunch of people in, in the media and in the industry who are freaking protecting jokers like him. Yeah. Simply because of an emotional state. Like, oh my god, like when I was six I played Mario's Magic Fiddle. I don't give a crap. I don't care. You better be playing a PS4 right now. You better be understanding the next gen or you're just going to sit at home with your old school console and you just better shut up about it and not talk because, you know, you got people who are hardcore gamers, who are real gamers, who love video games and who would do anything like spend all night playing a game if they have to because they know they got to work in the morning. But you, you know, the casual crowd who... Oh yeah, I loved playing this game when I was a kid, and and you know now ever since then I've parted for, for other obvious reasons like life and stuff. Like you know they make it seem like, you know their lives and what they, they've yeah, accomplished. Yeah, it's so life. important and it's so important. more important than video games. Which hey, yeah. life tends to be more important than video yeah, games, but but it's never somehow it's never more important than basketball, right? Or there, soccer, right? Or soccer or football. Yeah. Or or but, but yeah. Or but when we stay up, when we or take twists. a day off. To watch E3 when we take a day off to play an RPG, right, right. You know, something's wrong with us. But to, to, in the with the immortal words of Trace Kushranada, I'm sure that God would understand the steps we are taking. I'm sure he would. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> the, de- the the dead speak. But but look, it's like for real. It's like okay, like you know. All right, man. I called out sick because of Super Bowl X X X X 24, right? And that's okay, but I called out sick from work because I wanted to watch E3 all day. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're such a nerd and, and irresponsible. Yeah, so but going back to Reggie, I mean, that's basically, you know, the whole generation is protected of this whole truce thing. And now, you know, since Sony came out and they prevailed and they're leading the charts in sales with their console... And Xbox is like dragging itself. Yeah, about ten million behind the finish line. Yeah, they're only they're about ten, right? So, you know, then Wii U is at the very end, just completely wasted. No games, nothing. And this Joker is gonna come out there and start jabbing at Sony. It's like, it's like Joker. You like you're poking a T Rex with a twig. You know what I'm saying? It's like his only time when he comes <laughs> yeah. around and bites your head off. Absolutely. Well, the the the, the big um big job monster from Horizon gonna come out. Yeah, for real. It's like it's like once again Sony has has debuted a new IP that could be a mascot. Yeah. But like, what is what what did the big N have to offer? <laughs> they thought they thought sticking with cartridges was something proper. Right. It's like here we go again with 
Star Fox. Nothing wrong with Star Fox. No, but no, it's a great here we are, here we are again with another, and, and this is, and they're trying to be coy about it and not say that it's a reboot. Yeah. That that it exists. They're saying that it exists alongside the original Star Fox game, oh. but it kind of updates it. It's like it's a reboot. Just call it that. Yeah. You ain't fooling nobody. No, no, no. You ain't fooling nobody, man. And they're taking stuff from, like, the defunct Star Fox 2 in order to make the game. So there's, like, a lot of um, concept concepts that were done in Star Fox 2. So it's basically we're getting just Star Fox 1 and 2 merged together. Yeah, on last-gen hardware. On a, on, yeah, on a supposed last-gen thing. I, I don't understand the controls. I saw it and everything, and it was the only thing that they had, really. I mean, I don't understand it. Well, I they saw... failed to explain how you actually control the R-Wing. They only well, explained how you shoot. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess you use the sticks, right? I mean, I, I watched the gameplay video they had afterwards in the treehouse. Yeah. Um... I mean, it looked okay. I mean, it, it didn't look to me. It did not look that exciting, but no. you know, I mean, it looks I'm not. I'm also not a big Star Fox player, so it, it, it looked playable. But then and then again, it, it transforms into a bird when it walks on ground. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. But then again, it's like okay, it looked it looked playable and good. But then again, the speculation is how do you move your R wing? And they failed to really go in depth. They were just wanting to talk about the 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 Wii U pad, which has a three hour battery life. So if you're in the midst of playing Star Fox and it's really intense and you have a three hour battery life on your controller, I'd be pretty pissed if I have to stop every three hours because I'm a hardcore gamer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I still don't, I still don't think, I mean, I haven't tried it out for myself, so I'll throw that in. But, um, Roger that. I still don't think that that whole second screen thing works. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you're constantly up and down from one screen to another. I, I just really don't think that's gonna, you know, that's an experience people want to do for hours. Yeah, but, I don't know. I don't I know. Mean, I don't know how. Whatever. That... I mean, not even to to dog the game for its obvious, you know, last gen qualities because I, I'm not even talking graphics, but just like you could see the the design of the boss in that video was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's real, real 2008. <laughs> Yeah, or no. rather, or rather, two thousand and late. Two thousand late, man, for real. Because, because this is twenty fifteen Not... up in here, and we got, we got the Arkham Knights and the Bloodborns and the yeah. Battlefronts coming down. I know. And you and you still on, you still on some old, some old crap from from the last decade. But you know, okay, no problem, whatever. No, That's what Wii U does. It's stuff that you would expect an indie developer to come up with. Basically, yeah, if if they had an any, yes. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, uh, real quickly, I think that, you know, I just think, um, they, right now, Reggie bit off more than he could chew. There's going to be some type of intercompany backlash that we're not going to see. And Sony is going to just, I, I think Sony needs to just turn its attention to Nintendo and ruin it. Completely ruin it. I, they need to come up with something like a battle plan in order to just finish it because unfortunately voices like Reggie are being heard over people in the industry you know over like you know Andrew over all these other guys who are who have been there since like day one of PlayStation but it's like you know you just gotta stick it to Nintendo and in the worst way possible they need to eliminate Reggie Fizami from yeah from from the industry and from